So there's a lot of um, buzz in the medical community about the microbiome in recent years. And what that is is the population of bacteria that live in our bodies and on our bodies that are sort of um, not harmful bacteria, but beneficial bacteria. They live in our gut and they um, help us digest our food. And so, but they're all over. And we're realizing how important that microbiome is, that it's part of our bodies. And different parts of medicine have been realizing that. At birth, uh, the fetus is going from being in the womb where there's no bacteria, um, it's sterile, it's born through the vagina, and what we believe is that on the way out, the baby's picking up um, some of this microbiome, some of these uh, beneficial um, bacteria from the vagina. Then the baby goes onto the mother's chest, starts to breastfeed, and is, and is again getting bacteria from the, from the mother's skin, from the mother's milk. There was a, some large studies that looked at um, babies born by C-section, particularly planned C-section without labor versus a baby born vaginally, that there's a difference in um, some of these uh, illnesses, um, like such as asthma and type 1 diabetes and autoimmune disorders, and they think that there's a difference in the immune system. And so there's this focus on the vaginal microbiome and how that's beneficial to the baby. Um, and we don't have all the answers yet, but, um, but it's, it's compelling uh, stuff. There's, a, there's been a big international study that's, uh, that's doing this thing where they call it a vaginal tampon. They literally just take a piece of gauze. When a mother's gonna have a C-section, they put it in the vagina and uh, let it sit there for an hour. And then when the baby's born, rub that all over the baby and give the baby that. Yep, yeah, rub that over the baby's face. And, um, and give the baby that exposure that it would have had going through the birth canal. What we do at Northwest Hospital is what we call a family-friendly C-section where we want the baby to get skin to skin on the mom as soon as possible. Because the mother wants the baby, and the baby wants to be with the mother, and there's probably also benefit for the baby to be there. Um, but this added step has not become a policy for us, but we are having people ask for it. This, you know, we've had people say they want to do it, and. We don't know any harm to it, you know, I think the jury's still out on what the benefit is. I mean, but babies do come through the vagina. That's kind of physiologically how most babies are born. And so, um, so patients who want to do that were saying, yeah, you can do that. It takes a while for uh, research to change into practice and something has to be kind of proven. I mean, it sounds kind of silly to think, well, logically, what harm could there be to taking this cause and rubbing the baby? It sounds weird, but what harm could there be? Because that's where babies normally come through. Um, but you need to have a lot of studies before you start having a policy in the hospital. You know, you, know, you, need, you need to know that you're not doing any harm before you start doing something new. So, um, so I think that's where we are, we're at. And interestingly, the consumers in, on some level are maybe ahead of that because, um, or maybe they're pushing, advancing that because they're asking for it.